Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, do I like being adopted? And kind of like what it's like telling people I'm adopted. I think I filmed this video and then I ended up accidentally deleting it. So that's cool. So I'm just gonna be like talking extemporaneously, like a lot of my videos and you guys really seem to like that. Before we get into it, make sure you're following me on Instagram. So starting off, do I like being adopted? Well, I I think the best answer I can say is I don't know what it's like to not be adopted so it's very hard to answer that question but from my experience and family I do love being adopted obviously again my mindset is I could be somewhere else right now on this planet and I don't think I would have probably had the same opportunities and education and love so yes I do like being adopted I think that sometimes people's experiences could scar them or their viewpoints could be skewed because maybe they ended up with a family that probably wasn't the right fit and I do understand that that happens sometimes that's the answer for that question but diving on into like telling people you're adopted and how it might be a little weird and a little uncomfortable at times and my advice I will always been a very open person so when I introduce myself that's kind of like part of my identity is being adopted I mean like you know my spiel of like hi I'm Alex I'm adopted and I have two moms you know that just kind of rolls off my tongue just to like get it out there and I think that if you are experiencing times where like you are hesitant and then you feel like you have this secret then I think that could really like take a toll on you and if you feel like telling someone then I think that you should so I think you should be you should listen to yourself like intuitively do you feel like you need to tell that person now clearly I don't go up to like random people you know at the grocery store and say hey I'm adopted like no that's not how it works but if I'm going to be you know let's take my job at the TV station, for example, like I will tell, you know, my boss or someone that I did freelance for that I have two moms and stuff because I'm going to be spending, you know, a good amount of time with that person. And I want them to know who I am, kind of where I came from, all of like that. So if they have like an issue with that, then, you know, I can be prepared to be hated and stuff okay yeah I just kind of like feel the need to tell that to someone now if you're feeling hesitant to tell anyone about like your personal life or like you in general don't feel the need to and that's something that you yourself have in control so if you don't feel comfortable obviously you don't need to tell someone when it comes to my experiences though um, it's kind of obvious when I'm out with my parents one of my moms two of my moms so it's kind of like like blatantly obvious so it's not like I necessarily have to tell someone verbally if like we're all out together um, and typically when we are out together my mom just says oh yeah we adopted her when she was one if like they have questions or whatever and then I don't have to do it I'm like oh thank goodness because like sometimes I don't like talking to people yeah so my parents kind of take care of that if we are out we also always make the joke of like yeah we look exactly alike and sometimes Sometimes when like Valerie's eyes get small when she smiles, you know, we joke around saying that like, oh yeah, we look so much alike. Typically when we are out, we don't have to do any explaining because people can put two and two together. When it's just me, I'm just kind of like, you know, I have to be the one to say, yeah, I have like two moms and that sort of thing. I think it was harder for me to say that I was adopted and stuff when I was a child because you never know um, like what the other person or the other kid is gonna say and I feel like that's part of the reason why I don't really like a lot of people my age I know that sounds weird but like even as a child like it wasn't like my favorite thing to like hang out with like people my own age but other than that when I was like a little little kid like I never wanted to hang out with people my own age and I think it was because I grew up in an office like Valerie had an office space and like there's only adults there I know this is kind of getting off sidetracked, but 
when I did start like with kids, you never know how kids are going to react. So like, I don't know. I just remember at one of my like grade school things, this one girl, I still remember her name. I think her name was like, oh, I think her name was Emma. And if you guys are watching this, if you like know me personally, it's not the Emma you think. It was like some girl that went to my old school. So this girl, <laughs> she was like, thought it was weird that I had two moms. And then this other girl named Lindsay I don't feel like bad saying their names because like no one really knows them except if you went to like my old school yeah she also thought it was weird so those two people like thought it was weird but other than that I haven't really gotten a lot of hate but I would always be nervous to tell anyone like my age like about me like that I don't know but then again I was just like whatever because if you're gonna like me I want you to like me for who I am. If you don't like me, I want you to not like me for who I am. So yeah, those are the only two encounters that I've had with like telling people my age, which it was a little uncomfortable to do. And I would get nervous about that. But luckily, like it wasn't that big of a deal. And I hadn't had a lot of hate from a lot of my peers, luckily, or else I think I would have been scarred. <laughs> okay, so I did want to touch on one more thing before I tell this little story time about um, hate that I got but it wasn't because I was adopted so the question that a lot of us adoptees get asked um, do you want to meet your real parents or where are your real parents and that question I don't know if it's just me as an adopted person it drives me at the wall and I think I touched on this in another video of mine so I'm not gonna harp on it too much but it's because people aren't like educated enough to know that like your real parents are the people that provide for you that teach you things that are there when you're crying because someone hurt your feelings they're not because an egg and a sperm donor like came together no so please I know that's like one of those things but please educate yourself when you say real parents because yeah that's a little but you know us adoptees we get used to it and I don't take offense I just educate so I just say well my biological parents are probably somewhere in China when people ask you that that's when it's just like annoying in the fact that it's like I wish I wasn't adopted because I don't like getting asked these types of questions because it's just so annoying but that's why you're put in that position to educate the other person and just to kind of like you know show the person or tell a person without like you know being rude about it just like oh my biological parents because they don't know and that because they haven't had that experience you can't expect someone to know that but I must say as an adopted person that question makes me like wish I wasn't adopted because it's just one of those annoying questions also I touched on this in another video as well but when people say oh where are you from and I go Columbus Ohio they're like they like look at me like I have three heads and I'm like oh yeah I'm adopted so sometimes I actually do forget that I'm adopted which is kind of funny so that is also another experience where I don't like to be adopted because I'm like oh yeah I just have to explain this whole thing to a complete stranger like a taxi driver or something it's a little like a nuisance but you know it's if it, I can educate or enlighten or make someone's day better because of a story then you know that's all great so I'm gonna move on now to this little story time of a very negative experience I've had with having gay parents it's not necessarily adoption related so um, yeah there's a lot of things that like are in this video so I'm just gonna get on into that. I was applying to be a freelancer slash little mini employee for this guy who does video production and this was like a long time ago before I got my little freelance gig with another person's production group. I came across this little Facebook ad for this media production company and it was this like one guy who was kind of old. I was like looking at his stuff I'm like oh that would be great so I messaged him I was said I was interested I sent my resume and then we get on this call or whatever I said I did YouTube and he was like really really nice yeah so this guy looks at my stuff checks out my YouTube channel it was really cool and um, I was gonna get a zoom like meeting with him and he was showing me some of his work we get on this call and like I do my spiel kind of and this guy happens to be like super religious like not that that's a bad thing if you're super religious good for you like I'm glad but his belief 
beliefs were kind of like against gay people but he claims he was like oh I get along with like a lot of gay people but I don't believe in it or whatever it was like super weird and it was just like the most negative experience I've ever had especially you know we're in the 21st century so like that was like kind of shocking to me that I, my worst experience happened like when I was an adult but he was like yeah just like I don't believe in that stuff but I think like it's okay I don't know he was just justifying that like it was fine but like that he didn't believe in it or agree with it and I was just like um that's really awkward but he was like it's great that they like adopted you I don't know but his work is like really bad like when I say bad like it is so bad like it looks like he doesn't know how to work a camera so that's probably why he thought I did amazing work because even though I'm not the best like at video production and like audio and stuff like I'm gonna tell you my stuff looks a lot better than his so no offense to him but that's just like my viewpoints but he was just like a little negative with that so I just remember he wanted to continue on like talking to me and maybe work with me in the future but I just said like oh I'm I appreciate your time but I I'm thinking about looking at something else or just I made some dumb excuse to like not partake with him anymore just because he was honest with me I was honest with him but that experience like really left a mark on me in a way yeah that was probably my most negative experience but it was because I had gay parents not because I was adopted so I think that is going to be it for this rambly video I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe to my channel for more content of all sorts and I'll see you guys in my next video bye